What's up everyone? Vu of Envu Films again, back with another video for you to watch that will hopefully get me more clicks and likes and subscriptions because of this hot product. And of course, as always, I only make videos that I know people will click on. And right now, the Ronin SE is the thing to, uh, to be watching. Um, people like to watch gimbal reviews for some reason, but uh, I would like to go more in depth today with the Ronin SC versus the Xeon Weibo Lab that I did not cover in my first video, which got a lot of dislikes. And I don't know if that video sucked uh, really bad. It probably did. Or the fact that I made fun of Canon and all the Canon fanboys decided to dislike my video. Canon fanboys disliking my video is perfectly fine with me because I don't really care. Um, as you can see, it's a lot. Okay, and two of those dislikes are probably from Matty Hapoya and Peter McKinnon because Canon probably gave him another free EOS R to dislike my video and probably they also got free Polar Pro ND filters and probably a free drone from DJI just to dislike my video, which is fine. You know, I don't have any problems with it. I'm just joking around for the most part, but uh, yeah, that's if disliking my video maybe convinces Canon to make a 2019 level camera with uncropped 4K, 120 frames per second at full frame with autofocus intact. Um, and better than below average dynamic range, then go ahead and dislike my video. Till then, it's nice and hot out here. It's like 90 degrees and my sack is nice and saggy just for you to, okay, I okay, can't say that. To start, uh, let me point out some really good pros about the WeBuild Lab that the Ronin SC does not provide. And immediately, as you will notice, it's this underslung handle. Uh, this is an amazing handle. Um, it is, all gimbals should have this by now. And I'm hoping that the Ronin SC will come out with an accessory that could make an attachment like this because I did have one for the Ronin S. And it's a lifesaver in terms of like lower angle shots. Um, and another thing that the Ronin SC does not have that the Weibo has that I think is a great feature for gimbal is like the ability to adjust your, your camera, your shot, just by adjusting it. As you can see, I could adjust like this and it does, well, maybe not that way. Maybe that depends on the mode that I'm in, but as you can see, I could adjust the tilt with just my hand and it plays nice. And if I want to like realign my shot, I could just adjust it and it's good to go and it's a huge lifesaver. So yesterday I, uh, I shot, I filmed a wedding. I actually second shot a wedding for the first time ever for uh, Chris Mai of Good Co Studio. So shout out to him. Uh, we had a wonderful time and I used the Ronin SC the whole day. And that's when I really started realizing, you know, where I missed certain features of the weed bill and where I noticed the benefits of using the Ronin SC. So really, really quickly, this is the setup I had for the Ronin SC, right? Yesterday and today I did a, a, a shoot for a uh, Absolute Electronics uh, at a uh, local uh, audio, uh, car audio company that I was helping them out with the video. Anyways, so right off the bat, this thing is built better than the Weibo Lab. Um, it's a lot more responsive, where if you turn the Weibo too fast, like it kind of lags and uh, the sport mode on this is just ridiculous. So right now I'm gonna click this M button and it's gonna go into sport mode and you see how fast the camera reacts when I move. It is almost instantaneous. Probably not as good as the Ronin S because obviously the motor is stronger, but uh, it's responsive. Now, and this is without the sport mode on, you can see how the camera kind of waits a little bit. And I'm going to show you how the Weibo does it. So this is the Weibo. And then when I turn it, you see how like how much the that gimbal body turns before the camera actually turns. And that's where I feel like the Ronin SC is just more responsive, better. I mean, once you get used to that nuance of the Weibo, that you could definitely get very nice shots. But you just have to expect to know that is gonna lag a little bit. And I don't know why, because the motor is rated for more weight at I think six something pounds. And the uh, 
Ronin SC is rated at about 4.4 pounds, which for the most part of your mirrorless camera and most lenses will balance on either of the Weibo Lab or Ronin SC motor is fine. Um, you know, probably the only thing I think won't balance on these gimbals is just how heavy my balls feel when I'm holding a Sony camera next to a Canon guy, because that's just how big my balls feel when I have a Sony camera instead of a, of a Canon camera. What can I say, all right? Uh, you know, if you don't custom grade your footage and you, you uh, rely on so-called color signs to make you feel more comfortable about how your skin tones and colors look, which I think is total BS, you have small testicles. Um, and you have cropped in 4K. I mean, if you're, you know, satisfied with 1.8 times crop 4K, then that's on you. But I am not. That's why I shoot Sony. Anyways, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break apart these uh, gimbals and show you how they look once broken down and if they're good for travel or not. Um, like I said again, SC is just more robust, more responsive. You know, it's just, it's just well, put, well put together. Uh, I feel like the motor is stronger, even though it handles less weight. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I mean, you can't go wrong with either gimbal. Um, you just gotta learn the nuances and, and work around them. So let's break them down. So here is the Weibo Lab full blown, and I'm gonna break it down really quick. Just take this off. This doesn't even belong on the Weibo. This is an extra attachment that I bought. Uh, so I don't have to like take the, the tripod on and off. So this is just extra, okay? So, and, th and this is also, this is also extra. It does not come with the Weibo. So I'm gonna take apart this tripod, which this is also a t attachment that I added on. Um, it's like a quick release plate for the Weibo. So once you take that apart, you lock this down. All right, so this is how the weed build is locked down. Locked down and, and reduced to its travel size, I guess. So this is how much you could break down a weed build. All right, let me take this out the way. Hello, yes. Yes, uh, I am. I do videography uh, professionally. I'm actually filming a video right now. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, no problem, it's okay. What's that? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get you a car. Yeah. Oh. All right. So, um, this is the DJI Ronin SC before it is uh, broken down. And I will, I really don't feel like taking this handle off right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the tripod. I'm going to just leave this here. This is an additional uh, thing I, I put on, but I'm gonna have to unscrew it, so I don't feel like doing that. So I'm gonna just take it apart. Just imagine that this is not there. So I'm gonna, tripod comes off. Battery comes off. And you fold, fold this like this. And this is how it breaks down. You just have to ignore this piece. Let me try to get closer, a better view. Okay. So you tell me which one breaks down better. Overall, even though I feel like the Ronin S, you could take the battery off, you could take the tripod off. I feel like it is still bigger than the, the Weibo. Like I said, it just has more, it's just, it's just thicker. So, that's it, that's that's the, uh, the uh, Ronin SC and the Weibo lab broken down. Um, as always, uh, 
If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you don't like this video, I don't care. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to help you make a wise purchase decision. And I know most of you will probably watch this and by the time you even decide to maybe buy a gimbal, a new gimbal have already came out and you have to make the decision over again. So if there's, I have an advice for you, it's just to be decisive, make your damn mind, and just go out there and just get gear and shoot. Like stop sitting there and just watching YouTube videos, wondering what you should get, wondering what is better, wondering what is this, buy whatever you can afford, any gimbal works and just go out there and shoot and stop complaining and stop watching YouTube videos. And just, I don't know. It's just, people are weird these days, man. Just go out there and do work. Um, with that said, uh, like, subscribe and share. And uh, till next time, lighten up.